I declare Honorable Ngoga Karoli Mati. The fourth East African Legislative Assembly is now fully constituted after the election of Rwanda's representative Martin Ngoga as Speaker of the Assembly. I now call upon Honorable Ngoga Martin to move forward to the podium here. Ngoga, a former prosecutor general of the Republic of Rwanda, was this afternoon sworn in as Speaker of the Fourth Assembly. I, Ngoga Karoli Martin. Ngoga takes over from Dan Fred Kidega, whose term ended in June this year. Ngoga's election to the highest office of the Assembly was conducted amidst a protest by representatives from Burundi and Tanzania who boycotted the proceedings to elect the Speaker. With the absence of one or two partner states, then let's say that business is proceeding as a collaboration of those partner states. My colleagues have said it does not apply. That's what I'm you saying. You have to give me a ruling. You no. clap so that we have you on the record. No. That you are saying that, that, that it's okay that there is no the problem here. My ability to rule on the rule are beyond rule. Chair, 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 chair. That. When the Assembly's clerk Kenneth Madete convened the House this afternoon, Debate ensued and members present decided to go ahead with elections without the representatives from Tanzania and the Burundi. There is an issue raised by the Republic of Burundi which requires further guidance. I am surprised as to why this mysterious disappearance <laughs> is happening. So, uh, Clark, let me appeal to the spirit of the integration. Uganda's Minister for East African Affairs, who is also chairperson of the Council of Ministers, Julius Maganda, had earlier informed the House that President Yoweri Museveni, the head of summit heads of state, had suggested that the matter be forwarded to the summit if the Assembly members failed to agree on the election of the Speaker. And that's what the chair summit told me in the morning at 4 a.m. said that in the instance that the House is not moving, I request the clerk to refer the matter to the summit for consultation and its advice. He also told me that we shouldn't leave out on how the assumption, assumption of the top offices is done here. But what is important, as the chairperson of council has put it, is that you give this process a chance. I don't think it is a good idea to start with the divided assembly. This angered the newly elected members who accused the Council of Ministers of usurping the powers of the Assembly. Interpretations were done to the rules and also to, by the provisions of the treaty. And uh, we have legally elected him in accordance with the treaty. So even when members of the summit, and for me, any reference to presidents, well, whereas we are in the Assembly here, is it itself criminal? Because the presidents are only allowed here on our own Admission. The Burundian Minister for East African Affairs, Isabel Nahayo, and Tanzania Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs and East African Affairs, Dr. Susan Korimba, stormed out of the chambers after the clerk agreed with members to proceed with the election. Ngoga, Martin. The election was conducted in the first round, and Martin Ngoga pulled 35 votes out of 36 votes cast. Leontini got one vote, and Adam Kimbi, South Tanzania, got no vote. However, the rules stipulate that Ngoga had to win with at least 36 votes. Hence, elections went into a second round in which the winner only required a simple majority. Ngoga emerged winner with 33 votes. Burundi and Tanzania have threatened to take their grievances to the East African Court of Justice. The objects for which the East African Court of Justice was established is to be able to harmoniously resolve any contradiction. And clearly for us lawyers, it is a forum for, for resolution of conflicts. The battle line for the position of the Speaker of the East African Legislative Assembly has been drawn. Martin Ngoga from Rwanda has been elected as Speaker amid this controversy. We wait to see whether Burundi and Tanzania will challenge his election in the East African Court of Justice. Jingo Francis, NTV, in Arusha.